welcome to this edition of Bread Double Nation. I'm Miranda Cruz. And I'm Skye, and here's what's happening around RV. There will be a meeting for all girls interested in playing soccer next fall on Thursday, May 12th, during tutorial in room A229. See Coach Fanagan if you have any questions. Inklings Literary Magazine is now accepting submissions for its Spring 2022 issue. They are, they are looking for poetry, fiction, essays, and artwork. Any questions, please see Mr. Burns in C217. All submissions are due by May 13th. Often dubbed the ultimate obstacle course, RV Devil Dash makes its return to RV on June 3rd. Sign-ups are going on now, and if you're curious about what the dash is all about, here's a recap from the last time the event was held in June of 2019. Hi, it's Katana Hanks from RV TV. May I have your team name? Um, Kayla and the boys. So Kayla and the boys. So what boys are in your group? Um, well, it's Josh Green, Logan Hay, and Kaden Kelty. <laughs> Kaden Kelty <laughs> and me. So, so one more question, Kayla. What are you guys trying to play today? Are you guys doing this for fun? Are you guys going out there being competitive? Are you trying to win this day? The oh, 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 oh. Let me let you know. We trying to win. You heard? Um, we're graduating from uh, RV at, uh, in 2025. So what grade are you guys in now? Six. Sixth grade? So for your first year of middle school, what made you do such an intense event like this? Well, we've been doing it for two years. Yeah, fourth, since fourth grade, and so we just wanted to do it every year now. Uh, we are the Dream Girls. <laughs> what made you guys pick that name? Um, I just feel like we're all super into the movie. Um, it's a classic part of our culture. Um, they love to sing, and you, let, let them know, let them know. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. So Army TV, who do we have? Bridget Sinclair. Bridget, what's your group name? We are When Life Gives You Lemons. Ooh, so why did you guys pick that group name? Because we were trying to think of a really good pun, and this was the first one that we came up with a creative costume. How do you feel going to the Marines that a school like this would do something sort of dedicated to you? Um, honestly, I feel really honored, really privileged, because all of this is just, they took time out of their day to put this together for us, and they're pushing us to be our best, and really, it's, it's just great. For you guys to be an RV alum, you guys dance, and you guys do Devil Dash, what made you guys think to go out with the 80s bang? Like, how does this all relate? Is that why you guys did the 80s dancing outfit thingies? Um, we really got inspiration from uh, Ms. Wagner. You know, she really inspires us to, uh, to live our best life and be the 80s, you know? You guys look phenomenal, Dan. Back up a little bit. I want everybody to see their full-on outfits. This is amazing. So what guys, what made you guys do Devil Dash then? Uh, also Maru uh, recommended us to participate and we heard we were challenged by a couple uh, teams so we figured we'd throw our names in the, in the hat and try it out. Dance team trials will take place on Thursday, May 26, from 3 to 6 p.m. in room C-115. A mandatory parent meeting will be held on Tuesday, May 17th in C-120 at 6 p.m. Email rvdanceteam at gmail.com with any questions. 
Class of 2023, please visit the RV website for more information about the senior trip and the upcoming June 8th deposit deadline of $500. Any questions, please see Mrs. Rosenthal and Student Activities. The egg drop is one of RV's long-standing lessons. Students build a device that holds an egg which hopefully doesn't crack when dropped from a high distance. Let's see how this tradition started and whether or not this, year, this year's class was up to the task. Imagine that you are given an egg and then told that you need to build a device out of whatever materials you can find strong enough to keep that egg from cracking. It's a test that requires sturdy architecture, correct calculations, and honestly, a little luck. This is the egg drop. This popular RV lesson dates back to the early 90s, as now retired teacher Mr. Jim Latimer first introduced this idea into his physics class. These days, Miss Bookwalter is running the egg drop. She prepares her class by having them construct their own device over the course of three days. In groups, the students must create a structure that can hold and hopefully protect its valuable cargo. Drop day is finally upon us, as each group holds out hope that their egg will stay intact. Though there may have been a few bad breaks along the way, the physics class did an admirable job as they continued this scientific RV tradition. For RV TV, I'm Jason Sapp. And that's a look at what's happening around RV. We'll be right back with sports and with weather. RBTV is a fully functional television cable station located and operated within Rancogas Valley Regional High School. Our goal is to provide high quality programming that is both entertaining and educational. We are open to all students, especially those with an interest in the film, television, or media industry. Among our programs include the RBTV Morning News, where students can serve on the production team and learn various aspects of news programming. The Morning News is an excellent way for new students to become immediately involved within RBTV. Students also help produce content for RBTV magazine style shows such as Sports Desk and Spotlight, in addition to covering school events and doing play-by-play -play commentary for Varsity Sports Broadcast. In addition to watching us on Comcast Channel 19 and Verizon Channel 40, you can visit the RBTV Video On Demand website located on the RVRHS main page, as well as our YouTube site, RBTV Channel 19, where we broadcast and live stream events throughout the year. We encourage students to get involved early with our program. For more information, please contact the station manager at rbtv19 at rvrhs.com. We hope to see you soon. And now for a look at RV sports. Let's turn it over to Ryan. Thanks, Miranda. The spring season is still going strong, and we have some more highlights for you, as the boys and girls track teams hosted a meet against Pensalkin and Northern Burlington on April 12th. The boys team won both of their meets, defeating Pensalkin 88-51 and Northern 118-23. The girls team also won both of their meets, beating Pensalkin 128-12 and Northern 109-31. Girls lacrosse played host to Cinnaminson on April 13th. It was a tough defensive battle as Harvey went into halftime with a 4-2 lead. Luke Sweeney finished with three goals and Kylie Miller had seven saves. Harvey held on to defeat the Pirates 8-5. Softball played host to Heightstown on April 27th. The Devils had an exciting start to the game as Emily Wizikowski hit a home run in the bottom of the first yeah, inning to tie things at one. Heightstown then scored three runs in the second inning to take a 4-1 lead. However, Arby came storming back behind solid pitching from Olivia Doppler and a three-run homer in the top of the sixth from Monroe Willis. Doppler finished with five strikeouts while Willis batted in three RBIs as Arby defeated Heightstown 14-4. That wraps up this edition of Red Devil Nation. For more news and information, visit the RV website at www.rvrhs.com. I'm Skye. And I'm Miranda. And for everyone at RV TV, thanks for watching.